Here we can uh, see how is work my new tools. Tools it's MM VDB convert. There is uh, some uh, difference because here I have, for example, digital asset from uh, OBJ level. And also here we have the SOP level like digital asset uh, the convert uh, in and out. Uh, and here the classic only the VDB converted. We can start, we can see how is work this sheen. The sheen I have here, the emitter. This is basic sheen with uh, the object. It's uh, the pyro simulation is created by the shelf. I don't did nothing of uh, very special. It's only the example here with the pyro simulation. And I have this simulation like this. Okay, now it's all. You can press play. And we can see flat, okay. We have the simulation with the density, with the fuel, with the temperature, a lot of fields here is very basic. Uh, also the resolution is not important for now, but uh, only the example for see how it work my, my tools. The concept is uh, save the time because um, it's very simple when you create, for example, here the geometry, network inside you can create your cache like with the DOP EIO for convert that in VDB you can use also the VDB convert VDB and you can plug you can here assign it the VDB you can write the name of your fields if you want the specific fields and then you can for example create uh, the file cache uh, and uh, you can save it the file cache and blah 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 but uh, also in the middle you can create another operator for uh, for example compressed uh, for, for example change some uh, aspect of your VDB etc but this uh, maybe take the time in production maybe you can write uh, every time you can write wrong for example the convert VDB so you can lose more time for advantage your workflow you can use uh, also we can see that that it's my tools uh, with a lot of nodes uh, inside uh, obviously that is uh, the locked uh, tools okay and this it's uh, the level with the object level you have the object level for in in a, a output uh, and the sub level and the convert vdb is locked by the way here you can see inside my pyro import i have the pyro import i choose for example some fields from the default with the preset pyro and here i create my convert vdb in my convert vdb i can create more room here I can use, for example, the SOPs and the path that we can see in another example. Here I have the fields I want to export, for example, the density, velocity, temperature, etc. Also, I can remap my um, fields, for example, for V-Ray. In uh, a lot of production where I work at, I use uh, V-Ray like an engine renderer. Usually V-Ray, for example, with the density, if you have, uh, you can see here with the volume mix. Uh, and here I have the density of my smoke. I can, for example, use that. Okay. Here I have the density, density, density. Okay, it's mapped. Usually that it's like uh, the value is one for my density. Okay, for my voxel density. And here, usually when you export and uh, import inside of Maya or 3DX Max, uh, use the V-Ray, value of the density is uh, multiply. And uh, really maybe you see that. And it's not uh, the same you can see inside uh, Houdini. So for create the good mapping, I can use here the check. Okay, here that export fields for Vray, and so it's remapped that is not like 10, 
but is take the value and uh, remap from 0 to 1. So you can see it's the same result you have here, you can have also here. So it's that very comfortable for a user in want to import your element inside uh, Vray, for example. And here you can use also the custom fields. Custom fields is uh, the fields you maybe you want to uh, write, you don't want to check, but you want to uh, write your fields here. You can want to take, for example, only the temperature and the uh, density, and you can use uh, that, you can switch from that to that, okay? Here in extra option, you can uh, rescale your elements that it's happen when uh, also when you working uh, again with uh, Maya or 3dx Max also or with Blender or with uh, Sima 4D for example you can export the scale it's not in the meter and is multiplied by 10 so you can multiply that with 10 and you can enable you can enable the scale factor and is rescale without loss also the density value here you can merge the well, and here you can compress the, the VDB for create a very compressed VDB with uh, 17 bits. And usually you can save around 50% uh, of your uh, space in the cache. Here the volume sample, if you want, uh, you can create this is very nice types from my friends. Uh, and you can use the volume resample if you want to uh, resample your volume with all setting here. By the way, for more going the deep of this, uh, you can find here, I have also write the documentation and uh, I have the documentation here is based documentation with all element and also you can find the link uh, in the description with uh, online documentation for C also online on my website. Here I have the volume visualization for C my element. And the same here I have the convert VDB IOE because here sometimes maybe this is only the converter. In fact you can see MM you can find here only the converter and here the converter in and out because here, for example, I cre create this and this you can also apply here. In the converter here is open, is more important is open uh, asset. You can find here the same the converter and here the file cache with used here the my mm quick path. So you can download, you can also find but it's very nice because here I have the collapse folder and you, here you can find the setting. Here the VDB fill file cache, you can write here the name, you can write here the path and you can save very quickly. And here the visualized for see your cache in visualize. That is very comfortable if you don't want create the converter and then you can create the file cache you can use that immediately the same concept you can find here in my asset you can create it from object and this is very nice because the first difference things respect the other digital asset it's the check on use path and the use stop you can attach it for example that element i create this how oh, i can copy that and i can put here because uh, sometimes maybe you have a different uh, network you want to split in a different network your elements but just in the, in this case you can also check this and you can check the fields you want for example and then here I can say I want to call smoke and the range and I can press save and it started started to save it started to, to convert my elements 
can just interrupt. Obviously, uh, uh, I have the error because I uh, broken my uh, stopped my cache here, and obviously I don't see nothing because here in the vids I need to say density. The same here, and oh, oops, not in a mission here in the smoke density, 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 and here I have I can check uh, I have the temperature, not the heat. So I go here, I can say temperature and temperature. I can choose a black body. I can say two. Obviously, it doesn't work now because I don't have the heat, the correct uh, fields for for mapping that. But by the way, you can see here it's working very well. Okay, you have your element here. It's the same. If you miss it, for example, some fields you can also add for example the heat and I can close that and can I save also that more important for Vure also the fuel temperature and heat and density is remapped so you can export when you check for example the option for Vure you can export all parameters is selected in for remapped for gray. Okay, I can stop it. I want only see if work now. Here, it in variety also here heat or heat temperature heat and that should be temperature. Okay. Now it's working perfectly. And that is very nice because also it's created for you in the folder, in the specific folder, it's created for you the, the cache. You can take the cache and you can import inside your 3D package like uh, 3DX Max, Ray, Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, etc. etc. etc.